Welcome to the South Africa's first case law animated channel. All rise in court. Just kidding. Let us get all wise and get taught. Grab your notebook and pen. As promised, today we are going to look into Maswanganye vs. Beloye case. In this case, we meet Maureen Maswanganye. The applicant who claims that she was customarily adopted by her aunt Margie Beloye. Who died without leaving a will. As proof of that allegation, Maureen stated that immediately after the alleged adoption, she lived with the deceased, and changed her surname to hers, which she used throughout her life until she was customarily married to her late husband. Moreover, she has a certificate of occupation, which attests that she is the daughter of the deceased. She also submits that she was solely responsible for the care of the deceased, subsequent her marriage. Interestingly, despite the customary adoption, Maureen's bride price was received by her biological parents. The deceased was not married, but had four more sons. Three of them died without children, and the fourth got married twice and left his children from those marriages. Regardless, Maureen sought an order, declaring her to be the sole surviving descendant of the deceased, and, also an order for the master of the High Court to withdraw the letter of authority, issued to the fourth son's wife, Mrs. Beloye, in respect of the estate of the deceased, and instead, issue it to her. Mrs. Beloye opposed that application, on the grounds that Maureen was never adopted, and if she was, the children of her late husband should also inherit from the deceased estate. The judge dismissed the application. He stated that adoption terminates all the rights and legal responsibilities, which may exist between the child and his or her biological parents. If Maureen was adopted by the deceased, the right to receive bride price would have accrued to the deceased, and not to Maureen's biological parents. Thank you for watching. Please like, and share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, for more interesting cases. Forever your law buddy, until the jury do us apart.